so I'm back with another video for you today and I know I haven't posted a video like a sit down face to face sort of video in a while and I explained why in Monday's video so if you want to see why you can click here and it will take you to that video my Christmas plan with me and you can see why and what happened with my laptop and all that jazz but I thought I would film a what's in my makeup bag because in previous years when I've gone on this vacation I always take so much makeup with me when I really think about it I don't know why because I don't wear a lot of makeup when I'm there because obviously you're just you're just at the beach all day and then you go to dinner and I would literally put on makeup for an hour and then I would take it off once I got back to my room and it just seems like a waste to bring all of that makeup since I wasn't wearing it. But I'm gonna stop rambling about this and we are just going to look inside my makeup bag. So the makeup bag I'm taking is this one. This is the Rifle Paper Co. and La Sports Sac collab that they did. I don't know if this is available anymore, but if it is, I will link it down below. I think I actually used this in my last What's in My Makeup Bag video. I really like this though because it's a nylon bag, so it's really easy to clean. And I just like the prints on it with all the different types of makeup. I mean, they got of everything because I know you can hear all the stuff that's in here, but they even have bobby pins on the bottom. So I just really, really like this. It's super cute and it holds a lot of things. The zippers go all the way down, so you can really put a lot of things in here. I don't want all the stuff to fall out. I have filled this with way more than this and it's just, you can just carry so much stuff. It has one huge pocket in the back and then two smaller pockets right here. So in this large pocket right here, I have a bunch of band-aids because you never know when you're gonna need a band-aid. The next thing I have are these mini tweezers from Revlon, which I just take just in case. These are super, super tiny and this was from the Marquesa and Revlon collab that they had who knows how long ago. Band-Aids and this never leave this makeup case. I just always have them. The next thing I have is my contacts case. For some reason I only have one spare contact. I definitely need the other one for my left eye, but I like to keep a pair of spare ones just because you never know when you're gonna rip one or when you're gonna drop one or lose it. So it's just great to have an extra pair on hand. That's a tip for you. If you wear contacts, just always have an extra pair. Trust me. And then in these two pockets right here, I actually don't know if I have anything in here. Uh, no, I don't. I don't have anything in there. So I actually have a bunch of skincare stuff in here too, just because I'm taking some travel size things and they fit in here. So I thought, why not? Just put them inside. I actually have two of this first thing, which is the Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. And the reason that I took two of these is because this one is only seven milliliters, so it's there's not much in here. And I know that you can use this as a hydration mist or to prime your face for makeup and to set your face for makeup. And I don't know how often I'm going to use it, so I figured why not just take two of them? You never know. Side note, I have never ever tried this. This is the first time I'm going to be using this Rainforest of the Sea mist. And I hope I like it because I'm taking two of them. The next thing is something I actually just purchased because it looked really interesting and it's the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer, Baked Luminous Glow Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. This is also the first time that I'm going to be trying this. I don't know why I'm taking a bunch of first time products, but I am. And I just really like the color of this. I like that it has two shades. So one is just a deeper bronze than the other side. I actually think that this lighter side here, you could probably use as a highlighter. I don't know how often I'm gonna be using bronzer, but I also took this just in case I did want to wear eyeshadow. I actually thought this could double as that. I'm just gonna tell you now, I'm not taking any eyeshadows with me, so that's why I mentioned that. Next is another thing from Tarte, and it is the Tarte Friction Stick. This is their exfoliating cleanser. It literally looks like this. It's just this little black stick that you just rub, 
on your face and I think you just wash it off. I have never used this if you can't tell, but I thought it would be nice to take with me so I can have a little bit of skincare, like a little bit of a skincare regimen while I'm there on a vacation. I am taking one eyeliner. This is from Alme. It's just, it just says eyeliner on it. And it's in the shade black. I have been loving not wearing actual pencil liners or liquid liners. I just use a dark eyeshadow, which is what I did today to line my eyes. So I don't know if I'm really gonna use it, but I took it just in case, or I'm taking it just in case. And then I have this Marc Jacobs Pout Liner Long Wear Lip Pencil in the shade Prim Rose. I just figured I would take a lip pencil with me. I am taking a lipstick, so I thought, why not? This is just a rosy, pink, everyday kind of nude, retractable lip pencil, which we all know is my favorite kind of makeup pencil to be using. Next, another thing from Tarte. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I have mine in the shade Light Medium. Next, I have my Kula SPF 15 Lip Balm. This is in the Peppermint and Vanilla scent, taste, flavor. One of those. Next, I have another thing from Tarte. I've been loving Tarte. And this is the Tarte Maracuja Lip Exfoliant. It just comes in this purple tin, which is really nice. It actually kind of looks like a lip balm instead of a lip exfoliator. And all it is, it just, I just, you just put your finger in it, rub some on your lips, and then I don't think you have to wipe it off. I'm not entirely sure, but I do. I just use a warm washcloth and I just wipe off the excess. It also has this minty scent to it, more so than that Kula lip balm that I mentioned. I think this one smells a lot more like mint. This video is not sponsored by Tarte. They have no idea who I am at all. But I have another thing from Tarte and it came in that lip, not that lip, that gift set or just makeup set, skincare set that I purchased from Sephora during their VIB and VIB Rouge sale. And this is their Drench Lip Splash Lipstick in the shade Cabana Boy. I've never used this. It just looked like a really nice shade, like a good neutral shade that I could wear with any outfit. And it's super tiny. Then I have my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil and I am in the shade Four. I don't, it doesn't have a color on it. It just says four on it. But this comes with so much product, more product than any of my other eyebrow pencils have ever had. So I'm just trying to finish it up, but I feel like I'd, that's never gonna happen. It honestly just comes with so much and I like that. I also like that the tip of this is, of a, is thicker and on an angle. It's like that angled, fuller pencil. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Feline Noir waterproof mascara um i don't i don't really know what this is supposed to claim to do oh it's in the shade blackest by the way i just have been using it a lot lately so i'm just gonna take it for powder to set my concealer i'm taking the hourglass ambient lighting powder in the shade dim light i i thought this was nice just because it does have a little bit more of a sheen and a glow to it and i thought that would be nice on vacation I don't know why, I just thought that. This is the blush that I always like to take and wear in summer and warmer weather. And it is the NARS blush in the shade Deep Throat. I know a lot of people talk about NARS orgasm, but I actually think NARS Deep Throat is just more flattering and it's not as much of a glitter bomb as orgasm is on your face. I feel like, I feel like NARS Orgasm is just so much glitter. So much glitter all over your cheeks and I'm not such a fan of that. So I like this color a lot better. And another product from Tarte. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Highlighter in the shade Exposed. I love this. I really like Tarte blushes also. So when I saw that they had this Exposed highlighter, I thought, why not? Let's try it. It's really nice. This one I think is more natural looking than any of my other highlighters. And then the last thing I'm taking, this is the absolute last thing, this is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost. And I have used this and I have just been loving it. It is so, so great. 
and it is a gel moisturizer which I think is just a face moisturizer and I have been loving it it honestly feels so nice when you put it on and it makes your skin so smooth and soft it does smell a little bit like citrusy actually this kind of smells like fruit loops I don't know why that's what I thought of but it smells a little citrusy it's like fruit loops mixed with a spa it's a weird way to describe something but I swear that's what it smells like that's it guys that's all I'm taking in my makeup case I don't think I mentioned this but I do typically put my makeup brushes in a separate bag and then that also goes in here because it does fit and yeah I feel like there was a lot but a lot of it was also mini skincare things that I planned on taking and I will be back with another video on Monday and next Thursday it's another week of two videos so I hope you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all back here on Monday with a fun little Christmas video bye guys